Greetings, YouTube followers. This is John Demokis, a.k.a. Half Man, Half Cichlid. I'm going to uh, present today how I easily doubled the flow through my Eheim 2262 canister filter. Now, I've had this uh, filter for more than 30 years. It's been a real workhorse, and after putting some of my other aquariums, I was, to be quite frank, getting ready to throw out the canister filter. I did not like the maintenance and some of the other problems that we're all familiar with with canister filters. So I decided to make some major enhancements, which more than double the flow, and uh, I believe a number of these can be adapted to your canister filter, uh, no matter what the brand. It doesn't have to be an Eheim. So in any event, I hope you learned something, and uh, I hope you uh, have better filtration as a result. As I mentioned, I've had this uh, Eheim filter for over 30 years, and uh, I really loved it, but uh, was not enamored with uh, some of the problems from leaks to the flow slowing down to the hard work having to clean it. So anyway, uh, this is the uh, setup, and there in the lower corner of the aquarium, we just saw the intake strainer, which we're going to talk about. The uh, canister itself is about uh, five gallons, which is something... I really uh, like about this filter. You'll also notice too I have a CO2 system that's uh, feeding into my 200 gallon aquarium. I'm going to address four different uh, areas of improvements that I made to my Eheim canister filter system, all of which contributed, contributed significantly to uh, as I mentioned, at least a doubling of the filter uh, flow. The first, uh, of course, is uh, the filter media type. Uh, I, as I'm sure many others, have used uh, filter floss, which I found clogs rather quickly uh, and significantly impedes the flow of water uh, through the filter. Here's a shot of uh, FX and FX6, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. And uh, this this filter is in pretty bad shape in terms of uh, uh, detritus accumulation. But you can see in the center section, it appears that there is uh, uh, polyfill, some some fine type media, and it's and it's. Uh, saturated with detritus and mom and this uh, you know again uh, can significantly reduce the flow of water through the filter so you ask what do I do in order to improve the flow so you ask uh, what do I do to prevent clogging from the media in my canister filter I've got a separate video on this, which I'll provide a link to in the description. But bas basically, I use uh, high-capacity foam, which uh, holds considerable detritus and uh, two different porosities. And I also use uh, pot scrubbies, which de develop a excellent biofilm to... Uh, help with uh, nitrification and elimination of ammonia and uh, nitrites within your aquarium. Now the next enhancement to improve flow through my Eheim canister filter uh, surprised me and that is significantly uh, increasing the size of the intake strainer that feeds the water to uh, to the canister filter. For many of us, uh, we you know we hide 
these uh, intake strainers. You don't see them behind driftwood or rocks. And there's quite a number of things that can happen to uh, plug these uh, strainers and significantly reduce the flow. Uh, in my case, I increased the surface area of the intake strainer by a factor of at least four, which uh, resulted in a 30% increase in flow through my canister filter. So a little more information on uh, these intake strainers. Here's your typical Eheim strainer. And uh, you can see it's not very big. The diameter of the strainer area is about equal to the diameter of the intake hose to the canister filter. And a lot of things can go wrong with the surface of the intake strainer to impede flow uh, to your canister filter. This is a picture which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. It's the intake strainer for an FX6 and uh, essentially the same situation. Plenty of opportunity for uh, the plugging of uh, these uh, grates. Plenty of opportunity for things to get stuck plant matter, or even a dead fish to get uh, stuck against these, uh, these uh, plates and uh, significantly reducing the flow through uh, your filter. Here's the uh, actual original strainer with my uh, Eheim canister filter. And you can see uh, a lot of the holes were uh, plugged with uh, snails and uh, you know again this uh, significantly impeded the flow to uh, the, the filter and uh, I've also you know again found plant matter even dead fish uh, slapped up against uh, the strainer and uh, majorly slowing down the flow. Now here's the uh, input strainer it's from lifeguard that I adapted to the uh, one inch tubing that leads to my canister filter. You can see I had to use uh, some tubing and some reducing reducer fittings to put such a large uh, two inch diameter uh, intake strainer on the intake to my canister filter. But uh, by my measurements, this increased the flow by about four. And again, it gives me some safety room in the event that uh, plants or snails or what have you uh, start to plug these openings. As I mentioned, you can buy these larger intake strainers from Lifeguard Aquatics. I'll provide a link through Amazon and uh, you'll see there are different sizes. Some are slip fitting, some are uh, where, where there, it's a threaded fitting, but you will need some type of adapter to take it down from whatever size you decide on to your intake tubing, which in the case of, uh, I know an FX6 or my Eheim, which has been upgraded, it's, it's a one inch tubing. The next upgrade to improve flow to a canister filter uh, has to do with uh, increasing the uh, pump flow. Now this may not be possible in all makes and models of canister filters but uh, it was certainly possible uh, with uh, my Eheim filter and in a major way. As I mentioned, upgrading the pump on my Eheim 2262 was pretty straightforward. What I did was I replaced the pump that came with the unit 30 years ago with uh, 
the latest upgrade that Eheim offers, which is a type 1262 pump, which uh, pumps 910 gallons per hour. So literally doubled my flow and with this one change. The next improvement to flow was substantial also. My Eheim filter had a 5 8 inch ID return tubing. And uh, this uh, was restricting the flow to a significant extent by my measurement measurements back to the aquarium. What I used to replace the uh, 5 8 inch ID tubing that came with the Eheim was uh, one inch ID PVC, flexible PVC uh, tubing. And again, this, this had a major impact on uh, reduction of resistance to flow and, and uh, improving the return flow to my aquarium. So back to my Eheim 2262 install, an upgrade. You get a five gallon canister. You can see the new pump. Uh, the black tubing that comes out the top of the pump is the upgrade to the one inch ID flexible uh, PVC tubing. Here's the uh, shot of the two inch strainer, intake strainer, to my uh, canister filter. And uh, you can see the reducing uh, plumbing that I've put on here to connect it to the one inch intake on the uh, canister filter. So you can see from the diameter, and by my calculation, it, it allows about four times as much water through the intake as the original equipment supplied by uh, Eheim. I do hope that uh, you'll be able to adapt one or more of these improvements to your canister filter and uh, there, um, thereby improve uh, your filtration flow. Thank you and look forward to your comments.